Terrorist, I got dog. you. I got you. You want to f*** that you stuff? You want to f*** your Muslim you f***ing bullshit, dog? You want to f***ing I'm an infidel. What's up, mother David Wood, Apis, where, where are your videos now condemning this action? When when somebody does this at Hyde Park to a non-Muslim, you guys make videos in a second. But Muslim blood doesn't matter to you. Sheikh Uthman has apparently been attacked. He has been stabbed. Sheikh Uthman is a Muslim preacher in California. Yesterday, he was stabbed by a man who was violent and hateful and apparently quite unstable seen from his behavior. There is no question. I completely condemn this. Nobody should do such a thing. Nobody should go out there and stab somebody who speaks, who preaches. No matter how terrible you think the ideas and beliefs of that preacher are, it doesn't do anything good. It doesn't bring peace. It doesn't create a reasonable, good environment. It doesn't make anyone feel safer. Nobody gets anything good out of this. And this is certainly not a good attempt at showing to everyone that you are the good and peaceful one. Now, earlier, when I made myself a little bit familiar with the details, I issued a condemnation of this on Twitter and basically said that this is a stupid thing to do. A little bit later, I saw that um, Sheikh Uthman himself made a video in which he talked about the attack. Unfortunately, in that video, he talks about David Wood and me, and he calls us out and speaks of me in a derogatory way, asks us why we don't make an immediate you know, condemnation video about this and all that. The last two times that I got news that something happened to him or somebody had attacked him, I condemned it. I would never condone something like this. Hating people, attacking people for their opinions is against everything that I stand for and everything that I have said in the past. It is completely contrary to what I have said in the past. I said before, unprompted, without anyone bringing it up, that I'm absolutely against hating people and hating Muslims and attacking them and treating them differently because of their beliefs and opinions. And this is not just about Muslims, it's about everybody. People with extremely hateful, terrible opinions. I still respect them as humans. I don't hate them. I don't wish violence upon them. Now, I understand that Sheikh Uthman might have been a little bit frustrated and angry and sad and in the heat he might have called me out and David Wood in that uh, video. But seriously, man, don't do this. Maybe this should be a moment for Sheikh Uthman to reflect a little bit and to realize that targeting people, degrading people, justifying violence against people is not the way to go. Maybe it's time for him to stop dehumanizing people calling me names, dehumanizing people who don't believe in Islam or who reject Islam or who criticize Islam. Maybe he shouldn't advocate for a system in which I would never be able to speak out, for example. I mean, let's be very honest. Let's be very, very honest here. I am entirely in support of Sheikh Uthman's right to speak in California and to spread his ideas. And I think the right way to engage with that is to go there or online and have a discussion with him or a debate. And I did that in the past, right? He knows this. I offered a debate to him. He rejected it, unfortunately. Nevertheless, I think he should absolutely be free to say whatever he wants to say. Unfortunately, he doesn't believe that I should be free to say whatever I want to say. If I went to Pakistan or to Saudi Arabia and I spoke out about my beliefs and I spoke out about how Islam is illogical and bad and people like me should be able to do whatever we want, I would be jailed, beaten, tortured, lynched and killed. And Sheikh Uthman would probably have no objection to that because he advocates for a system in which such suppression of people is the norm. It's because of this that I find it a little bit ironic that he calls me out for not condemning the attack against him. I will, by my own choice, condemn such things because I am against violence. But why does he call me out? Does he also condemn all kinds of violence against people who insult or criticize Islam? Is he also in support of our right to speak without being harmed? Is he also absolutely against such violent behavior and oppression? I know he is not, which is why I'm saying maybe it's time to reflect and to review your language and review your attitude and your beliefs. Maybe it's time to agree to have normal interactions with each other without insulting each other. Since you are bringing me up, let me say what I think about that.
If you dehumanize others, belittle others, say terrible things about others, and advocate for terrible treatments of others, then it's not my fault. I'm not blaming anybody here. I'm saying it's not my fault that you get in trouble for that. I wish you didn't get in trouble. I wish nobody got stabbed for their opinions. But maybe you should take some responsibility and make a step into a better direction where nobody has to be vigilant and expect an attack. I hope the attacker gets caught and is dealt with within the laws of the United States that he is in. We have these laws for a reason. You're not supposed to go out and stab somebody. Don't attack people. It's dumb. It's idiotic. It's destructive. It's undesirable. It is not a great step toward a peaceful environment. It's not good for the greater well-being of humanity. Please stop. That said, I wish Sheikh Uthman ibn Farouk all the best and that he recovers quickly and that we have more reasonable exchanges in the future. Nevertheless, stay away from Islam.